Examine flexor digitorum superficialis. You hold all the other fingers out straight to defunction the profundus tendon, and you ask the patient to flex their finger fully into the palm. You will see there's flexion at the proximal interphalangeal joint, and more importantly, you can see that the distal joint is floppy. If it is not floppy, it indicates that the flexor profundus is acting and there may be no independent superficialis function. To examine the flexor digitorum profundus, you hold the fingers out straight again, and this time concentrating on the distal interphalangeal joint, and again asking the patient to flex the distal joint, which you can see clearly there. To immobilize the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb, and again ask the patient to flex the tip of the thumb, to extend it, and to flex it again. And you will see their flexion of the interphalangeal joint indicating the tendon is intact.